All right, everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to World of Goo. This is one of those old indie games. In fact, this is the first indie game I have ever owned. And I believe it's also the indie game that I own the most amount of copies of. I have two physical copies and about seven digital copies from the many, many Humble Bundles that this game was in. I think that, I think that was that. I don't know, I checked my inbox uh, before tonight, and I'm like, why do I own so many World of Goo keys? I don't know. Anyway, welcome to Chapter 1, The Goo-Filled Hills. So this is one of those, like, really early indie games. I think even, like, the first indie game on Steam? I could be wrong. Um, that, like, I would say most people kind of vaguely are aware of, but have never, um, have never themselves played, because it's kind of, it's so old. And... I absolutely adore this game. I've beaten it about, geez, about four times. And like, I don't think it ever gets old. Unfortunately, it's also one of those that it might not function that well. Uh, I had some serious problems loading this game up when I first when I first uh, started tonight. So I'm I'm betting this game probably has another like five or six years on it before it starts like kind of misbehaving. Because I think this was made when, like, Windows... Was it... Jeez, oh, I don't think Windows 7 was even out yet. Oh. Okay, uh, let's retry this one. I think if you do uh, OCD, it'll actually tell you. OCD. Let's collect 16 or more balls. Yep. But yeah, so when I was starting this, somebody was like, I used to play this game when I was a kid, and I was like, I used to play this game when I was in high school. Holy crap, the idea of playing this when you were a kid is kind of wild. But then again, I guess I am older than a substantial chunk of the population at this point. Uh, are you kidding me? I'm gonna spend one to recruit one. Yeah, I don't think I'm actually gonna get the uh, OCD on this one. I'm probably not gonna get the OCD on most of them, either. I'm not that good of an engineer. As a kid, I wanted to be an engineer, uh, to be completely honest. Like, I, I was like, yeah, I, I want to, like, make houses or, like, s something. And then I grew up and I became a professional internet hermit, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of all... This is both, like, all World of Goo is and all that it isn't. Oh, right, I should probably read these. The sign, sign painter is kind of important. This cave looks like it's been undisturbed for thousands of years, until now. When the pipe broke through, the ceiling above, the sunlight must have blinded these rare albino goo balls. They didn't seem to notice when it began to snow. Maybe th they would wake up if they had something to jump onto. The Sign Painter. But yeah, so the entire goal is pretty much to grab every, uh, every goo ball in the immediate area. I mean, that's kind of how it always works. And get them up to the pipe at the very, very top. Are these the ones where you can move them? No. Oh. I guess I'll put it over there, because the other guy just was not paying attention. I think there's some more goo balls that are, like, more structurally secure. Oh, butts. Um... That's just gonna fall apart. I'm just gonna undo this one, see if I can do more. I remember playing this demo on your computer in middle school. Yeah, this was... I think my mother actually bought this for us, as weird as that was. She was like, hey, this looks fun. And we were like, yeah, it is. Um, I think this is one of those series that I probably should have done, like, a long time ago. And I just never bothered. Are you kidding me? Come on, get the last one. Wake up your buddy. Whatever. I'm not going to go for the OCD. There we go. I'm just going to go for whatever works. Okay, so you need to make sure that you don't skip uh, parts like that. Structural stability is key. Though obviously, like, for the earlier levels, I'm mostly just being uh, excessive for my own benefit as opposed to... Uh, because the puzzle's actually hard enough to justify these things. 
You always wanted the full game, but your parents never let you have it. Uh, and then you forgot about it. It's a it's a good game. Like this is this is one of those that I'd say you could put in front of like a kid and it would entertain them for oh geez, a solid week probably. You had this on PSP? This was on PSP? Whoa, that's that's wild. I thought it was a PC only kind of deal. World of Goo Corporation now open. Let's go shopping. I love the stupid cutscenes for this. They're just weird. I think there's actually specifically a continuity between every single Tomorrow Corporation game. Like World of Goo, uh, My Little Inferno, and like a couple other ones. Uh, I think I think they all actually like do have a uh, uh, consistent story, or at least part of one. I'm not entirely clear on the. Uh, I'm not entirely clear on it. At least they've got a light. Uh, they've got a lot of thematic uh, similarities. Those saw blades super obviously will uh will pop my goo balls. I'm gonna lose too many of them doing that. Well, it's unfortunate. Yeah, the soundtrack brings you back. Yeah, it's nuts. I like. It's weird how much like I both remember this. Like I remember actually having trouble with this one. Structural st stability is not my strong point. I don't remember how to get this one, because they kind of stick. I know that much. I think maybe the trick is actually to build up first, because otherwise they kind of like do this like weird extending business, which only makes it worse. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Let's see. I'm just going to kind of extend this a little bit. There we go. I, oh. There we go. Perfect. I just got to make sure I don't drag any of them through the, uh, through the saw blades. And yeah, I think the I think the black ones stick to the surface. Oh, we should probably read this. The goo balls were excited to explore the mysterious pipe system, even if it meant traversing ridiculously contrived terrain. One of the goo balls seemed to say he felt like an armadillo. Moo, love the mysterious sign pa painter. And this is like old internet stuff. It's weird. I don't remember what these things do. They kind of they flash at you. I remember that much. What? Oh, oh, those those undo. I was like, what do the what do the little flies do? Oh. So that's how you get back. When you've made a mistake. There we go. Okay. I was like, I don't remember what these things do, and then there's the super obvious uh end result. It wasn't PSP, it was something like this. You might be thinking of uh Loco Roco, maybe? Or um Patapon. There are a couple of different, like, uh, silhouette or, like, goo ball y type games along the way. It's getting so much harder when it first came out as a Wii game. Well, yeah, because playing it on the Wii, uh, the controls would be really uncomfortable. Came out on PC first, if I remember right. A new species of goo ball. I must say, they look quite beautiful. Maybe they have commitment anxiety. I'm not sure. But it looks like they can be easily detached from each other. The helpful sign painter. Okay, so these guys can be moved. 
So unlike the previous ones, which kind of lock into place, uh, you can actually make like a, a climbing ladder situation. If a goo ball falls into a well 10 meter meters deep and climbs up 3 meters each day, but slides down 2 meters at night, will he still look fabulous in the morning? Maybe if he were to brace against the walls as hard as he could and believe in the power of friction, he could leave the ground behind. Your friend, the sign painter. Okay, so let's extend up as much as I can. Man, I actually, uh, I get like uh, comments from people occasionally on like YouTube videos. Uh, saying like, I remember when I used to play this game as a kid, and I'm like, that, that was like the beginning of my my channel. It's a weird feeling. Just gonna kind of extend these down because yeah, it's not bracing particularly well. I think we need to extend a bunch because if you notice, they like kind of slowly scoot over. And it's not exactly working for me. I think I made one once that slowly... Oh, yeah, it's slowly sinking because these guys aren't attached. So I think I actually have to start kind of more internally and then build out because otherwise they're just going to do... Dumb nonsense. Uh, we'll do that. I know there's a better way to do these. But I don't entirely know. Why do those pillars look like legs with stockings on them? They might actually be. They're kind of hairy. I could be wrong. We all could be wrong. Okay, so I should actually just build these straight up. And I believe also if you, uh, if you mistakenly, like, uh, make them, f like, bridge a gap, they will actually, like, freak out on you and do weird, weird, dumb nonsense. Okay, there we go. So that actually gives us some extra structural stability. Um. Because the, the pure suction from, um, the pure suction from that. I wonder if I, I can actually build over the pipe. You know, I have to check that. I just don't want to sink this, but if I can actually use the pipe as a... Um, as a brace, that'd be hilarious. No. Okay, so the pipe... The pipe actually doesn't count. Okay. Right. Okay, there we go. It's kind of adjusting, it's just not adjusting well. Because, yeah, what I have to do is effectively brace this entire setup up here, and then, uh, start removing the bottom. That's not helping anybody. Gotta figure out which ones are structurally important and which ones aren't. Nope. Well, that's fine. I'll live with it. I would love to do, uh... I would love to actually, like, do this properly. And, like, super maximize it. But I'm not going to. Oh, it's this one. I remember this one. This one, I would say this one's infuriating, but it's actually not so bad. It's just amusing. I had, uh, I had a whole group of friends. Honestly, my D&D &D group when I was, uh, when I was a, when I was a kid? When I was in high school, uh, my entire D&D &D group played this game uh, pretty much simultaneously. We'd, like, go, go over to each other's houses and it'd be like, Hey, you know, what have you been up to? World of Goo. And, like, that was, that was, like, the universal answer for the entire group. It was hilarious, honestly. And it was, like, consistent. We, were, we even kind of had, like, mini competitions to see, like, 
Not who could uh, who could build the best, but yeah, we're trying to get up to that. Once you can kind of like hang off of it, it's not so bad. I think I can get more than this, but not at this point. I could have gotten a little bit more, but yeah, I'm I'm just trying to sprint through this. So if I leave a bunch of goo balls behind, well, that's okay. I remember doing this game years ago with the kids on the computer at the library. Fun times. Man. I, uh... I don't think the library computers that I grew up with could have even played this, to be totally honest. Like, those computers were garbage. No, we used to... We used to play RuneScape. That was... That was the library. That was the library computer game. The goo balls on this side don't seem to like the goo balls over there on that on that side. I don't know. They look the same to me. Totally delicious. The sign painter. Okay, so we actually have to weight both sides down. Oh, I see. And you can't drag over the uh, the whirligig machine. Neat thing you can do. You can hang triangles. Okay, so that, sh that should ideally pick up the other group. Maybe? Apparently not. Okay, we'll figure that out in a second. The camera doesn't want to move on this one. Can I... There we go. It's particularly, uh... Disinterested in moving to the right spot. Yeah, because you have to keep it balanced. If you don't, the whole thing tips, and then you're in trouble. Oh, right. Gotta go up and over the thing. Okay, there we go. So now they should be able to hop on. Oh, I said it was ages ago, but it was only two to three. Okay. I'm, I'm always just kind of amused by the... Uh, by the passage of time in terms of the games industry. Because, like, for me, I grew up, like, late SNES, early N64 era. And so, like, whenever anybody says, like, I played this with the kids, or, like, uh, you know... Uh... Okay, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. It's really scary. I'm going to wait until it stops rotating back and forth for a bit. Okay. There we go. Got it. So let's see how much I can tear up from this thing before it all falls apart on me. Uh, let's see. Probably you and you and you and you. Got it. Got the OCD. I mean, all but one, but you know what? That works. <laughs> Wonder this won't end well. I mean, I think it ended up great. OCD is the uh, is the limit where it's just like, hey, you pretty much got all of them, or all that we could get, or, you know, slight deviation off of that. Open the gates and fly, monkeys fly. But don't forget about me, okay? Sincerely, the sign painter. I wish they bring the sign painter back. Okay, so we wanna. Oh, we've got we've got. 
balloon goo. Bagoonlu. Okay. And I believe this is one of those where you can actually rescue the balloons as well. Gotta do one more. There we go. Can you rescue the balloons? No, you cannot rescue the balloons. Well, that's unfortunate. You did get the Weathermen in Little Inferno. You know, I've never actually played uh, Little Inferno. I, I never got to that point. I'd like to someday. Uh, I wanted to do it with, like, a, a friend or something, but Shell didn't seem ter terribly interested at the time. And I can kind of understand, you know, why not. Blah. Okay. Alright, well, time for some wacky bridge physics. Fisty swore he would never be like those tadpoles that grow up and shoot colored gems out of their mouths. But he wondered what it might be like. The sign painter. Name is Fisty. A fur get right off of my own heart. Shooting gems out of their mouths, though, that's a reference to something that I actually don't know. Oh, oh, ooh, right. Let's retry that one a little bit. I don't want to mess, well, I don't know. It's not that I don't want to mess with it, but it was starting to become untenable. Because, yeah, you actually have to have a little bit of structural, st oh, right, I forgot, there's the, there's the, there's the freaking uh, undo button flies. I forget about them. Okay, so it's sinking down pretty far. Hmm, that didn't really help anybody, did it? I just gotta figure out how to balloon this correctly. I guess one option is... Hmm. Not too high, not too high. Not too low, either. Okay, so I can't do much with that. Um... Yeah, the problem is, what I want to do is grab a balloon and then immediately counterbalance it. Damn it. I guess that's something I could do. Make it lower. Okay. Okay. Okay, now that we've done that, we've we've reduced its load a little bit. And as soon as I get over to this, we're golden. Sink too far, don't no 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 okay. Okay, there we go. And I might be within range. Oh, uh, I'm gonna be close. Do you even need triangles here? You always need triangles. What? Uh, 
Dang it. <sighs> yeah, the problem is I keep grabbing the balloons along the way, which is a giant pain in the butt. Oh, Zuma. It's a Zuma reference. I think they might have actually... Yeah, so what I try and do... I guess what I could do, honestly... Is take... Yeah, this is this is the trick. Take all of the spare balloon orbs... And move them to where they can do the least amount of harm. Because currently they're just floating around... And they're, they're only going to mess with me. But if I pull from heat... Uh, if if I can do like quick reflex pulling from that section, that'll help. And we want to support from the bottom because it's far less likely to uh, mess us up. Because you honestly only damn it. Okay, what? What are you even doing? Why did that even fall off? Okay. But don't go all the way down. Okay, it's not going all the way down. That That's a good sign. Okay, there we go. It's not going to go up too high. So I want to probably lift this section. Because, yeah, two balloons can support the back pretty well. Is that within range? I don't... I don't know. Hard to see. Okay. Yeah, we're so close. So close. Okay, support that up. Come on, come on. A little bit more. There we go. Got it. Last one. Yes, I think you need to have gotten a little bit more. Like one or two more. Um... To get the OCD, but it doesn't matter that much. This is that's a tight one. I think I was I, I think I was always kind of bad at pulling that one out or pulling on that one out, pulling that one off. Yeah, I'm losing my ability to word. And I believe this is the last one. Go as fast as you can. They're they're stronger than you think. They'll have to work together to climb very high. A real tower of goo. Some of them felt they had they had done something like this a long long time ago, but things were more experimental back then. Peace, the sign painter. Okay, so now we make the actual super tower of goo. And yeah, I'm gonna try rather hard not to, um... Rather hard not to spend, like, too much time on these just because I do kind of have the habit of doing so. I forgot the fact that these things uh, don't form good triangles. Like they get kind of awkward. Jesus. Okay, we gotta we gotta get some structural stability going on in here. Otherwise, this thing's going to topple on me, and I'm going to be a sad puppy. It is. Awkwardly designed. I like the uh, goo balls that can make three connections, and these guys can only make two. It'd be a lot easier if they could just make one more. But whatever. Come on, upwards we go. 
We are still so far. Okay, let's further reinforce this horrid monster. And one of the things I always struggle with is, uh, is getting them to, like, actually connect to the surface you're trying to connect them to. Because they have this tendency to kind of, like, pull away from it as the, uh, bond shortens. And that's obnoxious. To say the least. Be kind of neat if this was, like, a, a speed run. There we go. And unfortunately, I can't remove any of these either. But that's okay. This makes you want to play Lemmings. Yeah, they kind of fit in the same... I'm not going to say classification, but they kind of evoke a, a similar... feel, for sure. I have no idea what the OCD for this one is. But I don't care. I think my brother actually did manage to OCD this entire game. I don't know how he did it. Would have, jeez, would have taken forever.